indeed. Greetings unto you, my beloved and holy friends. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. If you like what it is I'm doing, consider liking the video, consider subscribing, and do leave a comment. I try and answer every single one of them. Let's get into it. It was, it was a good day. I started, I want to say, started studying. Even though it can technically be called studying, but eh, I, I'm going to call it studying. So basically, I've been reading or listening to this audiobook called The Way of Mastery, and specifically The Way of the Heart. And I finished The Way of the Heart, and I started with The, the Way of Transformation. And in The Way of Transformation, he basically encouraged that you, you start a journal, and that you actually write down all of the lessons that you're that you're learning and I was like yeah I'll do that someday you know how you can kind of convince yourself not to do the things that you know is actually right and basically I, I made the decision yesterday that instead of putting it off any longer and I only put it off for like a sick like for two days or basically whatever but instead of putting it off for any longer I'm just going to start doing it and I did I started doing it and it felt good so like <laughs> I'm like six minutes six minutes or seven minutes into the first lesson and I've already filled like two pages of notes of all of the things that I'm already taking away from it again it's such good information and there's so much good information that I realize that I'm not not retaining everything I would like to so I think this journaling thing is going to be a, a very good step for me to actually solidify the knowledge that it is I'm gaining from this absolute amazing piece of literature literature and I'm looking forward to it I'm really looking forward to it growth growth and transformation that's what I feel like this stream is gonna be about it's something that me and Patais had a chat about so I feel like it is something that is important to cover have you uh, you ever smoked DMT it's not something I talk about on these streams friend <laughs> but I would like to to chat to you in person about it hey man how's it going today hey Lane it's going really well friend really really well I'm happy I'm feeling feeling good I'm feeling productive I I don't know if you heard what I what I said in the beginning of the stream, but I started journaling down the lessons I've been learning from this book I'm reading, and it's been really good. It's been really, really good. I feel like it's it's the right thing to do, and I look forward to to looking at the work that I've done afterwards and seeing how much it is going to change me, how much it is going to to change all of us actually. <laughs> And I, you probably can notice, but we have a little bit of a, a different angle today. Oh, let me show you like this, maybe. There we go. <laughs> uh, hey, what's the day counter? Is this, what is this? What is the journey? The day counter is streaming every single day of the entire year, friend. Streaming 365 times in the year, at least. So it's day 34 today. It's your oh, it's day 34 today. We've been doing this for 34 days, yo. Isn't that crazy? I feel like it is. I feel like we've already done so much transformation. We've already changed as people. We started to to better ourselves. And like to those of you who've been chatting to me, you've been mentioning that you've been you've been changing yourselves. Only for the better, of course. And you've been you've been trying to be more aware, be more conscious of your your actions, of your consuming habits, and it makes me very happy. Makes me very, very happy. Let me just actually open my chat so I don't miss your beautiful comments. Hey man, did you remember me? No name? Yes, of course, friend. Of course I remember you. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Oh, cool. Yeah, friend. Hey, dude. How you doing today? I'm doing really well, friend. Really, really well. I'm very happy. I'm very secure in my my direction, direction that I'm going in. 
Ah, oh, it, it's feeling good. It's feeling really, really good. To the moon. <laughs> Puffing on broccoli wand. Uh, of the finest giggle bush. <laughs> Puffing on a broccoli wand. Of the finest giggle bush. I've never heard those a uh, string of sentences. <laughs> the string of words in a sentence. That's amazing, Gary Bear. Below. Hello, I guess. Hello from the US. Hello to you as well, and good morning to you, friend. Hello from New Brunswick, Canada. Tuning in while I try to be responsible and do the dishes. Please feel free. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you for joining me, Naomi. Doing the dishes is never fun. But when you realize that the dishes are just as much part of everything else in life, you can, you can make it fun for yourself. <laughs> uh, bro, I just had the weirdest feeling. I felt kind of dizzy and wanted to puke. And then I tried taking a few breaths, uh, almost, it's to calm down and felt better. You felt dizzy for a bit, Woods? I'm sorry, friend. But now you realize that you have the power to change that feeling of yourself. So you felt dizzy. You felt like this energetic feeling coming over you. And you realize that by taking a deep breath, you can change that energetic feeling within you and you can control it. <sighs> Good morning from California. Good morning to you as well, friend. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really nice seeing, oh no. It's really nice seeing all of you today. I don't want to miss any of your comments, so I'll be, I'll be taking my time. Just taking my time. Only keep on growing. <laughs> Change the world for the better. Yes, that is literally the plan, friend. And I believe we are going to do that. And I don't know if you noticed, Patais, but my, my title for today's stream has arisen because of the conversation me and you had with each other. So... Thank you for being an inspiration in my life as well, friend. Hmm. Put that marijuana dune Pikachu. What? <laughs> uh, what? Hey there, greetings from India. Hey to you as well, friend. Greetings from South Africa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. XRP will go to the moon. Seems there's a lot of stock talk. I guess there's a lot of people flooding Reddit right now because of all of this stock debacles. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? No, nothing is unfortunate. Nothing is unfortunate. I'm not even going to entertain the idea of anything being unfortunate. Hmm, what you doing? I'm rolling myself a joint, friend. I'm rolling myself a joint. I just want you to know that these daily streams help me to have a better outlook day to day. So I appreciate you and your energy, brother. Thank you, friend. I appreciate yours as well, because what you just did was share your energy with me. So I appreciate you as well. Know that we can continually share energy like that. And we can lift each other up. Give each other smiles. The power of a smile. Being able to look at the face of someone else and recognize God within them. We can do that. We all have that power over ourselves and over the, the existence and the creation that we live in. <sighs> Life is beautiful. We just get distracted sometimes. Allow ourselves to get caught in illusions, you know. Uh, I have to leave and go to work, have a good day and life. Thank you, friend. I will have a good life and I will have a good day. And I wish the exact same thing for you as well. I hope to see you again. Hmm. Good morning from South Carolina. Good morning to you as well, friend. How are things in South Carolina? Is it getting a little bit warmer? Is it still snowing in the U.S.? I guess it's still going to be winter for like two more months, right? About two more months, and then it's going to be winter here. I'm looking forward to the winter. I do enjoy the winter. But the winter doesn't get quite as cold here as it gets 
up in the Americas. My favorite live redditor. You're my favorite viewer then, friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment and the, the good energy that you're sharing. Should I smoke some of this key? It depends, Scare Bear. You told me that you're you're only smoking at the end of the day, hmm? Do you have work today? Oh, oh you're working night shift, right? Damn, I actually I almost forgot that for a second. So if you're if it's after work, then maybe. Maybe you should smoke some of that kid. Oh <laughs> yeah, bro, I liked it. Like him on anonymous. Yo like a donkey. Hmm. Good morning. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, friend. Uh, I didn't end up catching your your commuting stream. Did you end up doing it? I'm really curious. And tell me how it did, friend. Was it fun? If you did end up doing it, I hope it was good. Are you Tasmanian? No. <laughs> I'm not Tasmanian, friend. Isn't Tasmanian like some sort of animal? A Tasmanian? Tasmanian devil? That's a, that's an animal, right? So I don't know if Tasmania is a place or if I'm offending someone right now. And if I am, it wasn't my intention. I'm so, so sorry. What's up, man? Looks like a much calmer day out there. Lol, hope you've had a great day. Thank you, Young Tex. I've had a great day. It is a little bit calmer. I found a new little stream spot. Uh, it's in a little nook of our house so the wind shouldn't be a problem here <laughs> shouldn't be a problem here and uh, i hope like the, the all i can really hope for is that the light is okay because it is in a nook so there's not tons of light Ooh. almost fell it's not tons of light but there's more than enough to to do what i want to hmm yeah, dishes are the the, le <laughs> the least fun part of me trying to cook better food for myself more often. Unfortunately, it's one of the parts that I least enjoy as well. Like I have almost like a rule when I cook, I want someone else to, to do the dishes. Maybe it's a little bit of a selfish rule, but I understand. I do understand, Naomi. Doing dishes is never fun, but it is part of the, the experience. It's part of the self-care, it's part of the, the intention, right? If you're doing the dishes, tell yourself that you're doing it with the intention of making life easier for future self, for future Naomi. And if you keep confirming that you're doing things now to make life better for your future self, your future self will have a better life. Uh -huh. How about that? <laughs> uh, Good morning, wake and bake. Good morning, friend. I'm happy that you're having a good time. Brui. Brui. Maybe just bro, I guess. F is the Numban. F is this Numban. Am I the Numban and you're asking what I am? <laughs> I'm a divine, individualized expression of God, friend. Thank you for the wholesome award, Naomi. I appreciate it. Gare, is that a trick question? <laughs> Hope your day has been going well. It's been going really well, Alex, actually. Really, really well. When you asked me about Apex, I like I was really serious. I couldn't I couldn't find games lately. Like I've tried. Can't find games. So I installed Risk of Rain 2. If you want to jam some games, dude, you can play that. I'm working. I can't smoke. Uh, I launch Reddit for a chill. I see you smoke. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe that's exactly how the universe intended for you to be, friend. Like you can see me smoke, and then I can share the vibrations that I am experiencing with you instead of you having to experience that vibrations yourself, right? Hmm. Stuffing a fat one for the boys. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. I'm waiting to, to light it though. I'm gonna, gonna read some more comments before I do. Like I think these days I'm getting a lot of comments. So instead of trying to, to stay up and like answer the questions as they come through, 
I'm just going to have to take my time. And I hope that you're okay with that. Uh, I do believe that if you keep watching, eventually I'll answer your comment or answer the question that you have to ask me. But it's going to take some time, unfortunately. But we're spending good time together, so I don't think it's going to be the end of the world for any of us. Is it me or does he look like Heath Ledger? Thank you, friend. I do appreciate that. Heath Ledger was an absolutely amazing actor and beautiful man. So I take it as a compliment. Hmm. About to roll one too. Sick. I hope you can join me by the time I light this. Thank you for the energy, friend. I appreciate it. I thought my man was doing magic when I saw him uh, on my Reddit home screen. Maybe I was doing magic, friend. Maybe I am doing magic at the moment. I believe magic is such a stigmatized word because magic can be literally the experience you get from having a conversation with someone. You know, like a conversation can be magical. So I believe that we are all doing magic onto and into this world. We just have to be aware of it. No, don't cut your hair. No, I won't, friend. I won't cut my hair. My zoot, yes. <laughs> I'm a roll on myself right now. Do that, friend. Do that and enjoy it with me. Greetings from South Mississippi. Thank you, friend. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing a, a space in your consciousness with me. He is mailing, mailing, magic. He is mulling magic. I have no idea what that means, but yes. About to light up as well. Please do. Let's be buddies in South Africa, gang. We are, friend. <laughs> We're buddies right now. We're spending time together, right? You don't spend time with people you don't like. So, here we go. What's weed? Weed is a plant. It grows from a seed. Produces cannabinoids. You dry it, and then when you smoke it, you experience those cannabinoids. <laughs> Put that shit down. I will eventually. Maybe by the end of my life. <laughs> but not right now. Dude, learn to roll a joint. I think I've learned how. Like, um, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but this is a, a pretty joint looking joint right here. I love your hair. I love you, friend. Thank you for appreciating the hair. It grows this way right out of my head. <laughs> uh, I was fortunate to, to have a beautiful mom and a beautiful dad who had a little bit of curly hair and then that little bit of curly hair came together and expressed themselves into more of curly hair. My, my little sister's hair is even more curly than mine. I've got a fatty little boy so I'm happy. What strain is a lemon haze friend? Stop stroking it like that and <laughs> and smoke that. I'll smoke it eventually friend. I'll smoke it eventually. I'm just gonna try and read some comments. That's not a trick question. <laughs> Wakey bakey. Hello from California, US. Look like you live in paradise, man. I live in a piece of paradise, and so do you, friend. Like, we, this world that we live in is paradise. All of the things we get to experience, our eyesight, the things we get to hear, the things we get to smell and taste and feel, and not only feel with our own bodies, but feel inside of here. We all have a slice of paradise just within this body that we've been given and we should take care of that piece of paradise. Love you fellow human. Love you too my fellow human. Do you smoke every day? I've been smoking every day this whole year, yeah. But I've been only smoking like one joint a day. Must be a nice area to smoke that beautiful plant. It is a really nice area. Like you, beautiful people, probably have a better view than I do. But it, it really is a beautiful area. You've inspired me to roll one. <laughs> you can probably hear that. That's my little brother and sister. Bro, I heard Cape Town is fucked up. I have no idea, friend. I've been blissfully unaware of all of the goings-ons in the world. I've been trying to, to create a better part of it. So, I've been... Maybe intentionally, maybe unintentionally, keeping myself a little bit sheltered, I guess, from all of the bad news that the, the world tends to push down our throats. 
And I'm not sure if it's denial. I don't feel like it's denial. But I do believe it's it's something that I've chosen. Like everything that we experience we experience because we allow it and we invite it into our field of consciousness and that's why we experience things and that's why we feel certain ways about things but if we don't invite that thing or that completely neutral event technically into our field of consciousness we don't give ourselves the chance to experience it as good or bad if that makes any sense I thought I was coming in for a magic show. You better make that joint disappear. Okay, so since you said that, I'll light it now actually. But before I do, I want to set an intent for why it is I want to smoke this today. And I think it's going to stay true to the title of this video as or well, this stream as well. And it's going to be transformation. Transformation and change. I want to I want to smoke this to transform. To transform in the being that I am, to transform in the expressions that I have, and to change for the better. Because I, all be I believe we all have the capacity to continually change for the better. We have so much capacity to just grow, you know? So that's exactly what I want to do for transformation. Shantai? 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 I can you wear? <laughs> oh. My sister is talking about a TV show she's watching apparently. With my little brother. Man, why is it that when we're teenagers we really enjoy TV shows? I remember I I used to binge show upon show upon show and now it's been almost six months since I've watched anything I feel it's been good it's been a little bit less obsessive a little bit less consuming I think is a better word would you ever do a 5 a.m. wake and bake probably not Probably not, um, only because I've set kind of a rule for myself to only start smoking after 4.20. And the rule has been, has been giving me a, a lot of perspective, a lot of information to work with. So I don't think it's something that I would change, not necessarily. Greetings from Vienna, Austria. Greetings to you as well, friend, and thank you for joining me. Roll a fat one. I don't think it's that fat, but I did roll one. Flix volcano on. Yes, my little volcano is on. And I am the one blowing the smoke. Thank you for the silver, friend. I appreciate the, the love that you're giving me and the energy that you're putting out into the universe. Where do you live? Can you take me in? I live in South Africa, friend, and you would have to ask my mom, probably. <laughs> the dog just bumped the, the streaming setup and shaking her head. Like, you'll have to ask my mom, dude. She's gracefully taken me in as well. I've been living at home again for four months after leaving in high school. And it's been, it's been very healing to be home, to be safe, to, to know that I am... To know that I am, actually, just to know that I am, and like I've, I've been working for a long time before I've had this time, and I felt like for the first time I did not have direction because I wasn't working and because I didn't earn a salary, and I felt so confused, so like a little bit lost, so erratic in my behavior, compulsive, impulsive as well, and. Because of the mindset I was in, I've come to the conclusion that this is what I need to do. And this is something that I've wanted to do for the longest time. Since I was 15, 16, I've wanted to be a content creator. And 
I was always doubting myself. I always had this this voice in the back of my head, like, you know, nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to listen. Nobody is going to care. And for that reason, I never started. And I, I silenced that, that part of me. I kind of ignored that part of me for the longest time, earning a salary, working a job that I hated, working ridiculous hours as well. And even though I was earning good money, I never felt like my soul was gaining anything out of this experience that I was giving myself. The experience that I was literally inviting into my own field of consciousness. And then ever since I started this stream, we're on day 34 right now. Like if you, if you go back, if you go and check on the YouTube channel and you watch the rest of them, I, I, I feel like I'm a different person completely from the first day. Time has become very strange, very, very strange because I'm, I'm doing something every single day without fail and with purpose and with intent. So <laughs> it's, it's making me feel so happy. It's making me feel so, so complete. That was a, <laughs> a very long answer. Sorry. Uh, He's messaging the bud. He's massaging the bud so he gets extra high and relaxed. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm just putting extra love into it, friend. It's about intent. <laughs> it's all about intent. The way you touch things, be it your food, be it your lover, be it the way you pick up your phone, be it whatever. The way you do things and like the, the style in which you do it indicate and dictate to your brain what you're experiencing of it you know understand what i'm saying if you're going to pick your phone up in a jerk reaction because you have to call someone right now you're going to be shaking and you're not going to have a good time trying to interact with your phone but if you pick your phone up gently take your time unlocking the screen do what it is you have to do those are going to be very different experiences with the same little piece of phone you, know, you understand what i'm saying so it's the exact same thing for weed, it's the exact same thing for food. It's about your intention and how you interact with this beautiful world that is you. Big bug came and said hi. Thank you for the wholesome award, friend. Where are you from, bud? Excuse the pun. <laughs> Please make puns, I enjoy them. I'm from South Africa, friend. I've been in here for 10 seconds and this guy is cool as shit. <laughs> You're a cool friend. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being in this journey with me now. Like I, I hope that I have I have gained you as a follower. Huh? I have to grab onto you, hug you so tight, <laughs> melt you into my existence. Uh, I've been trying to remind myself of that, that nothing is unfortunate, that everything is as it should be. Exactly, Lane. And thank you for, for still being in chat, friend. Like last time you had to leave a little bit earlier. So it's very nice to still see you. And it is, friend. It, it is something that we we get, get get caught up on. Like we think of things as unfortunate or we think of things as like a bad experience. But all a bad experience is, is your divine self calling into your field of existence. Something that you need to experience so that you can learn what you need to learn. So, yeah, this is a lot of words, but that is exactly what I believe. And that's how I've been looking at, quote unquote, bad experience these days. Bad experiences these days. This dude is high F. I'm not that high, actually. I'm kind of, I'm kind of relaxed. Usually when I get a little bit blazed, I feel like I, I have a hard time talking. <laughs> I, I don't feel that way today. Rad, brah. Keep the good vibes going. I will, friend. So, I'm just covering my feet. I'll show you. I'll show you what it is I'm doing. Covering my feet with my little parachute pants. So that the mosquitoes will stop eating me. And it, it works like a charm. It looks absolutely ridiculous. And I, I won't walk around like this in public. Out of embarrassment. But, for mosquitoes and for beautiful nature looking at me. I think it'll be fine. Ah, 
Hello again from the US with some serious anxiety problems, but I finally got the motivation and courage to apply myself to apply for my medical marijuana card to make life easier for me. Last part of my certification is this afternoon. Please wish me good luck. What's your name, friend? Cheeky Leaf? Okay. So I'm seeing in my mind's eye a Mandela actually, that's like flowing outwards. And I'm throwing the word cheeky leaf into this Mandela, into this like red core of this Mandela. And I'm wishing you all of the good luck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good luck, friend. Good luck. Uh, I hope you get your, your certification, your certification. Peace to you, dude. Peace to you as well, friend. I only, I'm only smoking bowls today on my last quarter before my weight arrives tomorrow. Damn shame. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, friend. But fortunately, you only have to wait until tomorrow. That sounds like a, like a blessing in disguise to me. Energy, the fuck? Yeah, friend. Everything is an energy exchange. Everything. Even you watching this right now is an energy exchange. And you could be watching anything else in the world, right? But you're choosing to watch this. And I'm choosing to do this. So we are creating energy and exchanging energy. You know what I'm saying? So in this world, there are a lot of different parties that want energy. And there are subjectively good energies, the truth, and bad energies, a lie or an illusion. Mm -hmm. And the only truth is love. And the ultimate lie is fear. Live in love, not in fear. And almost all of our responses, our negative responses, <clears throat> can be drawn back to fear at the end of the day. So we should be aware of that. Smoking big doinks and Amish. Are you Amish or do you think I'm Amish? Because if I'm Amish, that would be a really sick lifestyle. I think I would be quite the black sheep if I was a, a streamer as an Amish kid. Drug addicts deserve the rope. Like, um, I don't know if you had a problem at one point, friend, and came over at all. Never had a problem. But uh, a person becomes addicted to something because they experience trauma in their life. So, <laughs> because they, they need something to make them feel safe, make them feel secure, make them feel loved. And we should love people. We should love drug addicts. We should show them that there are people that care about them. We should show them that there is a better way and that love is the only way to get over our traumas and to get over our fears. And nothing else is going to change that. Like giving them the rope wouldn't really make a difference either because then they would still hold on to that trauma that they had from the very beginning. We should heal that trauma within ourselves and we should be willing to heal that trauma in the lives of others especially the people in our immediate vicinity, because that's who we have the most power over. And thank you for the wholesome award, friend. Hey to you as well. I love you, dude. I love you as well, friend. Thank you. <laughs> I really love you, friend. Much love from the US. Thank you, friend. Was that li uh, last bit of... Okay. Was the last little bit of weed necessary? Are you talking about the guy smoking the little bit before he gets his stock tomorrow? <sighs> cut your hair, hippie. No, I'm not going to cut my hair, friend. Have a nice day, brother. I hope you have a nice day as well. Almost 4K watching. Hey, everyone, go subscribe to his YouTube, Melt More. So, I'm not sure if 4K people are still watching. If you are watching, thank you for joining me. Indeed, greetings unto you, my beloved and holy friends. If you would like to, and if it is in your divine will to do so, do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, Melt More. Same way it's in the title. It, it really helps. It really helps. It helps so much. You have no idea. Like, every single time I see that number go up, even one, it like warms my heart and I get this big giddy smile on my face and thank you. Thank you for every single one of you who has already subscribed and who are commenting and who are watching. I really appreciate all of you.
third eyes open. We all have our third eyes, friend. Like literally, our pineal gland has light receptors in it. So by definition, it is a third eye, literally. Hmm, thank you for the wholesome friend. Uh, what you smoking isn't always, what you smoking isn't always necessary. You don't have to smoke anything, friend. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to eat food. And you'll still be able to experience this life to the fullest. And you're going to lose the same thing at the end of it that all of us are going to lose at the end of it. And it's a single moment. All we ever lose is a single moment. And that moment is right now. And we're sharing that single moment that we have right now. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. How dare you? I dare, friend. I do dare. He has nice hair. Why should he cut it? Don't worry, friend. I'm not going to go compulsively cut my hair because someone told me to. <laughs> love from Israel. Love to you as well, friend. Thank you for joining me. And love from South Africa to you. This guy gives me hard Midsommar vibes. I don't know who Midsommar is, but I'm now curious. Hello from France, bro. I hope you're good. Peace on you and your family. I wish you the best. Keep that positive energy. Thank you so, so much for your beautiful message, friend. Thank you. I feel, I feel energized by your, your positivity. And I will keep the positive energy because all of you are sharing it with me right back. So how could I not? spiral out keep going i keep spiraling out friend um i believe it's the most pure expression that i can give you instead of having a script instead of saying only certain things saying exactly what comes to mind as it comes to mind is the the most pure type of expression that i believe i have <laughs> if john snow and heath ledger had a baby it would be me <laughs> thank you would you do a 5 a.m. wake and bake? No, friend. I think not this year, but maybe next year. Maybe next year. Life is beautiful. Nature is our guide. There is no God. I don't agree with you at all, unfortunately, friend. Because what you just said is separation. So, I said this yesterday, and I'm probably going to continue saying it for these streams because it's, it's such a profound idea. And if you really understand it, it, it gives you some clarity. So, you know when you, like with rapid succession, throw milk into a glass. And as it hits the bottom, it reflects and it comes back up. It comes back up and then a single droplet separates from the rest of the milk. And then in your field of consciousness, you see this droplet as something separate as something individual, a drop of milk, uh, and apart, or separate, or separated from the rest of the milk. But there is no separation, because as soon as that drop falls back into the milk, it again becomes the milk. So, and it's the exact same way for us. Like, we're, like consciousness is a lot more than milk, obviously. But if you want to think of it as an infinite ocean, and we are individualized drops, or individualized waves, or however you want to see it. We are so powerful and so beautiful. And there is God, friend. And it's it's all around us. It's in the, the faces of the people that we talk to. Puff Puff Give. I would love to Puff Puff Give to someone, but unfortunately I am completely alone. Dude, you're crazy. See God in people's faces? Ooh, yeah. So, <laughs> I didn't read that comment, and I said what I said, so yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like Jon Snow and Seth Roger. <laughs> had, a, had a kid. Seems like there's a, there's a bunch of different, what do you call it? Uh, love childs in today's stream. Uh, weed is dope. It could be. Uh, if it's like used with intention and used with respect. Have a lovely day. Thank you, friend. I hope you have a lovely one as well. Wow, your hair is majestic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You look like you listen to... I don't listen to either of those bands because I, I had a hard time just saying it. Bass, Nectar and Fish? Nah. I've never heard of them, actually. 
I wish I could meet people like you in person. Someday you will, friend. Someday you will. I believe that we are, we are actively creating people like me, if you want to say that. Because you are people like me. I'm no more special than you are, friend. I am made of the exact same star stuff. We are made of this planet. And the atoms that make us up contribute to this being that we, we call our body. And it's a temporary body, friend. Because at the core of our existence, and our image, the, the thing that we are made of, <laughs> is God, dude. It's pure, pure love, pure, infinite consciousness. Innocent, pure, infinite consciousness. And we are individualized expressions of that. And we like to think of ourselves as other or as separate from this infinite source. Because it's the experience that we chose to have. It is the experience we called into our field of consciousness so that we can entertain the idea and feel what that might feel like. How do you pay your bills? That's where the stress comes from. Friend, at the moment, I'm not earning a salary at all. And <laughs> sure, stress can come from that. And it's something that I stress about as well. But it's not something that I want to stress about and it's something that when i stress about it i re almost redirect i want to say that thought or that energy of lack and tell myself about how much i already have just coming to realize that you can see that you can touch things that you can taste things that you can hear things that you can smell things if you if you really understand how valuable these things to, are you uh, <laughs> are to you you'll you'll never be able to be sad about stuff dude because how much money would you give like the money that you would pay bills with how much money would you give to get your eyes back if you lost them right now or to get your ears back if you lost them right now or to get everything back if you lost everything right now so realize how much you have in what you have and <laughs> life becomes very beautiful and a lot less stressful going to the dispensary in a bit i'm happy for you friend i hope you you get some some cool steals some amazing buzz and some good deals you smoking alone yes i am friend yes i am big doings and amish gang gang <laughs> uh big doings and amish yes yes man i wish i could smoke with you but i'm working for two hours Plus, it's my last bug. Don't worry, friend. Like, these streams are gonna be on the internet forever. I'm going to be posting them to YouTube. I've been posting them to YouTube every single day. So, if you want to catch these streams and you want to smoke with me, they'll always be available for you. He has <laughs> a majestic mane. Thank you, friend. Namaste. Namaste, friend. Do you live in Sweden? No. I live in South Africa. Where you located great vibes i'm living in south africa and thank you for yours as well friend i wish i had people as chill and good-hearted as you in my life you have people like me as chill and good-hearted as you in your life now friend i'm going to be doing these streams every single day for the whole year so i hope to see you i hope to have you as a chill and good heart person in the the, the voice chats as well Big vibes, good morning. Good morning to you as well, friend. It's so nice, Sark. It really is. Where are you, South Africa? Do you work? Yes, I do. This is this is work for me right now, friend. <laughs> Even though it doesn't feel like that at all. But more so what comes afterwards. The video editing and color correction and stuff like that. But... <sighs> It's a, it's a job that I can do with a smile on my face. And it's the first time I've ever been able to say that. So if you didn't have the weed, would you still be the same, be in the same mindset? So, like, I usually don't start smoking directly as I start streaming. So if you, if you were here for the start of the stream, you'll see what mindset I have. I believe it, it doesn't change that much. I think, obviously, things change when you put different chemistry in your body. But... I don't think I'm corrupting my soul, if that makes any sense. 
Is we legal where you are? Yes, it is. Good morning from Sweden. Good morning to you as well, friend. Damn, so many people are watching. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Like, I, I feel like I'm really, really, really far behind on comments. But last time when I had a lot of viewers, I, I, I like couldn't read the comments because they were just spinning past me. So I feel like this is a little bit more honest to what I want to do. Even if I have a lot of viewers, I still want to read every single one of your comments, uh, even though I wouldn't be able to, to get to everybody's. And it makes me sad, but I think it was, it's, it's genuine. It's more true to what it, what it is I want to do here. The positive energy that you give is enormous. I hope that you can receive this positive energy, friend. I hope you, can, you take it and then bottle it up inside of yourself. Like make it fester, make it grow with inside of yourself and then share that positive energy again with the world. With the people that you interact with, with the, the situations that you, you get yourself into. It's very important, friend. Loving your positive message. I'm loving yours as well, friend. Thank you for sharing it. Uh, it's about 30 Fahrenheit, so it's cold start of the day for sure. I hope you're staying warm. Hope you're staying hydrated still. Hope you're safe and I hope you're going to have a good day nonetheless, even though it's cold. Hey, howdy, hey from Yeehaw Town. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey to you as well from South Africa, friend. Wook. <laughs> good morning from Salt Lake City. Still snow here. We love snow here. I'm happy that you enjoy the snow, friend. <laughs> Makes me happy to hear that, actually. Thank you for the silver and thank you for the wholesome, friend. Yo, bro, which variety is this one? Still lemon haze, friend. It's gonna be lemon haze for a while longer. I love keeping up with these streams. I love that you want to keep up with these streams, friend. It really makes me happy. I love seeing all of you join me in this moment, seeing all of you experience what it is we're experiencing together hmm. i'm sitting at my desk in my office on the second floor overlooking the office of 45 people i started from nothing i agree with everything you're saying but you're going nowhere in life doing that lol you appear to be a drug addict with a success with successful parents i guess is what you're saying so my parents aren't unsuc unsuccessful but to give you an idea, my parents can't afford to buy me a car or couldn't afford to pay for my college. So, <laughs> no, friend. And uh, I understand what you're saying is that you, you work from nothing and you got where you are. And I, I kind of want to know how old you are as well, friend. Because I am 22. And I'm not doing only this. Like, there's, there's more to it, friend. <laughs> Relax. I'm also writing. I want to publish my book next year, so I'm, I'm trying to, to do the right thing. I'm trying to be responsible, I'm trying to take care of myself and take care of my future loved ones because I do want to have a wife and kids and I want to be a provider for them. As someone who rolls daily, you're a good roller, bro. Thank you, friend. I have been rolling daily as well, so I guess I'm bound to get good. Smoking ganja, hello from DC. Hello to you as well, friend. Thank you for joining me. When will you be streaming on YouTube? Ah, uh, so probably only starting next year. Like properly, like streaming on my YouTube channel, probably only starting next year. Uh, but I'm posting all of my streams on YouTube for the whole year so far. Hmm, the joint caught my eye, but the personality took my soul. <laughs> I'm happy that you stayed, friend, and I appreciate you sharing your soul with me. <clears throat> can you show us the view? I can show you uh, a bit of the view if I just get out of frame a little bit. Mate, that's bliss well packed. Thank you, friend. I wouldn't be able to form a sentence if I smoked that to the face. How do you smoke something anywhere else than to the face? Yo, how many try 
comps, tri comps. I don't know what that is. They're talking about the stuff I have to put. I have to put stuff in my hair. Tri combs. Com. I have no idea. But none, I guess, since then. Should I suplex my grandmother? I don't know, dude. Do you think that's going to be a challenge? Mm -hmm. Suplexing your grandmother? So I believe it would be pretty weak of you if she's not going to be able to wreck you back, you know? If you want to suplex your grandmother and your grandmother turns it around and haymakers you or something, that's a, that's a fair fight, <laughs> you know? So it depends on your grandmother. Hmm? I don't know your granny, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go over like maybe a no for for a basic like coverage of the question. If you use a flask funnel, it goes a lot better for packing those cones. I don't pack these cones, friend. I roll them myself. Hand roll joint, friend. Guess I should smoke too. You don't have to smoke, friend. And I actually encourage you not to if you can't be productive when you smoke because that's the reason I stopped actually. Couldn't be productive enough when I smoked, so I only started smoking after 420. Hmm. Most likely weed is gonna get legalized in Poland soon. Can't wait. That is amazing friend I'm so so happy for you. I believe more and more of the world is awakening to it Fortunately more and more people are Understanding that this is a plant and it can be used as a medicine and like for the longest time countries criminalized it because it was uh, a drug with no potential use for uh, no potential medical benefit or no potential use for medicine or whatever and that is the furthest thing from the truth. Like, it's obviously the furthest thing from the truth. I like the scarf. Thank you, friend. It's a gift from a friend. For my 21st and 22nd birthday party, uh, I threw, like, one party at our place. And he, he was the only one that actually brought me a present. He's so thoughtful. I haven't talked to him in like a day and a half, so I actually wanted to call him after the stream and I think I will as well. I should call my grandma as well, it's her birthday today. Mm. You look like a friendly younger Logan from Wolverine. <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, that's very nice actually. Just finding the stream, I love it. Definitely will be back. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you as well, friend, and I hope to see you again. Thank you for the silver card, man. You seem like a chill dude. I believe myself to be a pretty chill dude. Uh, not to toot my own horn. I wasn't always a chill dude. <laughs> Quite angsty. And I can still t sometimes be a little bit angsty. Especially when I'm time constrained. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy time. Because I'm, I'm too attached to it, I guess. Every like, especially now that I'm waking up uh, at quarter to five in the morning, and I'm also streaming at the same time, and like now, time has become even more of a reality in my head. Like I'm very aware of time these days. Mmm, that's why I've been feeling so slow. It's been feeling like it's, there's a whole year past already. Woman's scarf. Can be seen as a woman's scarf. <laughs> but it's like, how do, you, how do you gender a piece of cloth, friend? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. I'm on a tea break right now, but you enjoy your smoke, man. Thank you, friend. And I'm happy that you're on a tea break. It really helps. It's really good for you. Like, smoking only one joint a day and only smoking after 420 was basically like a tea break for me as well. And I feel like I'm getting a lot more out of my bud these days because I'm respecting it a lot more as well. I'm also setting an intent. So for those of you who didn't catch that, before I smoke my joint, I set an intent for why it is I'm smoking this joint. And my reason today was transformation and change. Transforming the person that we are and changing into the person that we have to be. Cutting away everything that isn't love. And actually living as the expression of love. So, 
Whew. <laughs> I went into a spiral there. I don't know where that came from. This dude is banging. <laughs> Uh, man, I miss uh, smoking weed. I can't do it at my apartment. I'm sorry to hear that, friend, but see it as a blessing in disguise. So the next time you can smoke, it's going to be an uh, even better experience. Mm. Silver linings, the accent, nature sounds, just chilling, so calming. I'm happy you enjoy it, friend. It's really, it's the vibe that I... I believe is something that's needed in the world right now because everything is so fast paced. <laughs> Spilled a little bit of water on myself. It's nice though, it's very warm. Everything is so fast paced and like nobody is giving you a chance to to like just stop and appreciate something. And unfortunately it's seen in our attention spans as well. Like people look at something for five seconds and then they want to see the next thing. That's basically the intention spans of people these days, especially with the meme era, unfortunately. Well, maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's what we want for ourselves. But we've shortened our attention spans a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So I believe that in doing these streams, I've been transforming my attention span as well. Because I, I, I can't just like space out in the middle of the stream and then space back in and then keep talking. Like that's not exactly going to be me being present, so I think that's something that I've conquered actually with these streams, becoming more more capable of keeping my attention. Hmm. Dorian Gray from Sabrina. I hope that's a that's a compliment. Isn't like Sabrina a witch show? I don't do any witchy stuff other than pulling cards and meditating. Yeah. Only, only those two, actually. This guy. I like this guy. I like you as well, friend. Thank you. Thank you for to the stars. Thank you for the awards, friends. Do you have a job or just wealthy parents? I have parents that are wealthy enough to house me and feed me. They did have four children. And my brothers and my sister also live at home. Uh, my brother is studying in university right now. And... Like my other younger brother is like 16 or 17 and then my sister is 14. So we're all a bunch of youngins at the moment. Is this Reddit in a nutshell? I don't think so. I think Reddit is a very diverse and full place. Just got back from my work. Gonna blaze up with you, my friend. Thank you, friend. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your presence. South Africa? Yes, it is South Africa. I never thought of using a mortar and pestle to grind, but now it seems genius. It's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. Like, your, your butt has to be a little bit more on the dry side for it to work effectively. But if it is, it's like, it's perfect. It works so well. What is this ganja? This ganja is lemon haze, friend. What brand of rolling paper do you use? I use OCB, actually. I love watching your streams, man. I love... You watching the stream, friends. Fibonacci sequence. Our bodies and the way that it's made up is a Fibonacci sequence, dude. The amount of space between our limbs, the amount of space between our eyes, all of that stuff. E Maths. <laughs> Quick maths. YouTube melt more. Thank you, Patais. I appreciate it, friend. If it's bad, why is, is it medicine? Like, uh, friend, you do realize that things that are considered medicine, like painkillers, is like morphine, right? Like hard drugs. So, and that stuff is also medicine because it has use to numb your pain. But it's very addictive for that reason, because it numbs your pain. All of it. Hmm just came to the stream the vibes already thank you friend thank you for bringing more of the good vibes i need to know where homie shops at you, you want to know where i shop uh <laughs> i don't do much shopping unfortunately friend like i'm uh, I'm, li I'm actually i've been pretty much home every single i think i've only left home once in the last 34 days uh, 
because I made this commitment to stream every single day, I'm kind of bound to a good internet connection. And you can't exactly take down your point-to-point -point Wi-Fi connection and move it with you. So <laughs> I kind of have to st it's like stay put. <laughs> uh. Damn, the stream's popping off, man. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm happy, Lane. What is your overall goal? Is it to create a platform to spread your message of positivity, create a physical community, or both? I think both, friend. I think if if we can reach the reach the point where we have enough enthusiasm to change the world, we can start making physical communities, and then we can go out and just be good to people for no reason. And we don't even have to like have like a goal or anything like that or something that we have to give but just in the moments that we spend with people in the way that we interact with people we we live as the true expression of love and we <laughs> we show them that we can actually love them as a person regardless of who they are and for no specific reason like not because you want something in return but because you want to give to that person and then we can come together once a week and we can be around people that have been doing that and we can share stories about how people's like faces light up or how people change because of the way that we interact with them or change their mannerisms or like you've been communicating and having a certain type of social interaction with a certain type of person like your boss or a co-worker or whatever and then suddenly because you've like taken up this new philosophy this new experience this new uh expression of love you can literally see that change in your relationship and you can transform your relationships in doing that into something that is absolutely beautiful Yes, I got 500 viewers and it was very fun. I think I'm going to start live streaming more too. Feel free, friend. Like it's it's definitely something that's fun. You're you're sharing something with the world. You're sharing it with the community. People are interested, people are loving, uh, and people are wonderful. So guys, yeah, sounds like Thor. Good. <laughs> I've been I've been very insecure about my voice for the longest time. Uh, especially when I was a teenager. Because you hear these like movie voices and especially those like trailer, those trailer voices in a world, you know, you know, the I can't do them, but you know, the, you know, the voices. And I was so insecure and I was like Googling stuff like, how do I get my voice deeper? Da, 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 da. And I never found something that works. And I was so like bummed out about that. But now, fortunately, I've, I've grown used to my voice and realized that this is my voice. Literally, this is the voice I'm supposed to have, and I'm happy with the voice that I got. South Africa, probably Cape Town, if that way. <laughs> Not from Cape Town, friend. Not from Cape Town. I'm living in Mpumalanga, so... Quite the opposite. Hmm. I don't know why I clicked on this, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did as well, friend. Thank you for joining me again. Oh, for the first time, I guess. I hope that you join me again. It is it is something that I'll be doing every single day. I hope to share this energy every single day. And I'm so thankful for the energy that all of you are sharing with me as well. Heath Ledger, where have you been? I have died and been reincarnated. <laughs> uh, bless his soul, unfortunately. He was uh, an amazing actor. I think he will be missed. Where are you? It's so sunny, but where I am, it's snowing. I'm living in South Africa, friends, so sunny vibes at the moment. It is summer. This guy is so wholesome and thoughtful. Thank you, friend, and thank you for sharing that as well. I appreciate you, friend. Are you South African? Yes, yes, I am. I think they're extinct, but the cartoon lives on. Uh, <laughs> Spark up, man. I've been sparking up. I'm just gonna like take it take it exactly as fast as I'm supposed to and not a drop faster I'm about to join you have a blessed day thank you friend have a blessed day as well what time is it where you are so it is 13 minutes past 5 right now so we have like 17 minutes of streaming left at least yeah like 
mm, like 16 minutes now of streaming left and then I'm going to to say goodbye for the day have a good smoke brother thank you very much you're so nice oh my goodness thank you you're very nice for saying that as well are you on private land or a park looks beautiful we are on private land very fortunately there was just a gecko running down the the wall <laughs> Why aren't you wearing your mask? Fortunately, I have no one that is at risk of having COVID because we've already had COVID. Like in December, end of December, we had COVID, the whole family. So we've been quarantining as well, staying away from the public, respecting the public. And we're all better now, fortunately, as well. Hmm. Why did I know they were Australian before clicking? <laughs> because you didn't. <laughs> I'm not Australian. The comments are wild way. <laughs> the comments are wild way too fast, lol. Yeah, they probably will be very fast, especially if they, there's a lot of people. So um, I'm just taking the comments as I see them. Like, because I'm, I have them open and I, I have to scroll them. I wish there was a way for me to like, have a little wheel and scroll like this. Maybe there's a way to do that. Uh, nerdy tech guys, hit me up in the DMs. I'll, I'll definitely buy one from you. <laughs> uh, I won't be able to pay you a lot for it, but I'll buy one from you. Uh, spark and pass. I would love to, but nobody is here to take it from me. This is one fool's bluff. Yeah, it's been it's been giving actually. It's been a very giving joint. Must be nice to have no responsibility and smoke weed all day, huh? It would be nice if I if I had no responsibility and I could smoke weed all day. But fortunately, that is not the, the current situation. I'm about to fire up the old vape too, lads. What vape do you have, friend? Like, I, I really want to get myself a mighty. But, I'll, like, I'll get there. Soon. Very soon. Can, can, can. Cannabis. <laughs> Must be South African by accent. Yeah, you're right, friend. When will you blaze with Jacob Sartorius? He invented blazing online, you know. Really? Hmm. I, I hope to, to blaze with him very soon then. Jacob Sartorius. I'll try and remember that. That's really cool. I've never heard of him, actually. What is this guy wearing? I'm wearing... A uh, pretty psychedelic type of shirt. Then I'm wearing a pashmina, is what they call it. But it's not made of uh, goat, like rare goat wool or something like that. It's not made of that. And then I'm wearing like some baggy, like uh, what do you call them? Parachute pants and flip flops. And a mushroom lighter necklace. That is my, my basic setup <laughs> to give you a breakdown. I'm gonna join you after I shower. Sick. Please do. This man needs a Twitch stream. Um, yeah. Eventually, friend. Eventually, I'm gonna get my own Twitch stream. But right now, I feel like this is the best way to build a community. I feel it's very personal. Twitch could be like this as well, but... I don't know. I, I like this community. I'll go to Twitch as well, and I hope to take all of you as my community with me so we can interact on there as well get the you know horizontal aspect ratios and maybe like a better way to reach out as well i guess hmm are you south african yes yes i am through this he's more about the intention than smoking like paying attention to all of you yeah i actually am <laughs> it's not about smoking for me it's about answering your questions, having a conversation with you. If I'm just going to sit here and smoke a joint, then it wouldn't be exactly anything interesting either, would it? You the man, you the man as well, friend. What strain you smoking? Lemon haze. Sick pash? Thank you. <laughs> you see, pashmina, that's what they call it. That's something that I learned on stream, actually. Doing the dishes is therapeutic. They can be. They definitely can be. Heath Ledger is fetch, guys. Yeah, he's, he passed away a long time ago. 
Ah, oh, Tasmania is a part of Australia. Where are you from? South Africa. I think I've I've probably said that enough times by now. So maybe I'll stop saying that. Because I think people are going to keep asking as they come into chat. Hmm. Is there a way to mediate it? I don't know. I don't think I have to. He who cooks, cleans. Uh, he who cooks, cleans. You are incentivized to make a mess for someone else. Oh, I don't... <laughs> he who cooks, cleans else. You are incentivized to, to make a mess for someone else. Oh, no, not at all, actually. Like, I try and be a little bit reserved cooking with as little as I can. But <laughs> if you're malicious, then sure, it could be incentivized to make more of a mess. Uh, when you have a lighter of a necklace, you need to reevaluate your decisions in life. Friend, I only wear this lighter when I'm going to light things. So it doesn't stay on my neck the whole day. But I guess you're right in a way. Like maybe having the lighter around my neck should make me reevaluate my my life decisions, and I do occasionally. Like every day, I guess we constantly reevaluate our life decisions. <laughs> Have you ever stopped? That's literally what you constantly keep doing, right? Instead of living in the moment. So I've reevaluated my life decisions for a bit, and now I'm going to be living in the moment again. Hmm. That joint is beautiful. I'm happy that you approve. This little piece of art is slowly being inhaled and then repurged, given back to the universe as a beautiful expression of smoke fractals. Hmm. Like every time you blow out the air, it's still technically in a way part of you and an expression of you. Hmm. Smoke makes these little cool twirls, and if light shines through it, it makes like patterns. Life is profound. We are creators, actively creating our experiences and everything that we, we want in our lives. Uh, is this your first time after a tolerance break? No. Um, well, technically, it was four months ago. I took like a one year and four months tolerance break when I went to China. Stoner thought that never come true. We all know that. Yeah, it happens, dude. Like we, we get so paranoid about things. And then it's just in our heads, you know. That's the best way I've ever heard self-care framed. Thank you, friend. I hope that it, it helps. I hope that you can you can use it and I hope that you can share that message with people. You're tripping me out. I'm sorry, or you're welcome. I don't know which one, <laughs> but I hope it's only good information that I'm sending your way. This guy is so peaceful. Thank you, friend. I try and be as peaceful as I'm supposed to be in these moments. For my own personal well-being and for all of your personal well-being as well. For our united well-being. We need to, to give ourselves a chance to relax sometimes. Focus on our breath. Focus on our thoughts focus on our words I think it's, it's very good for us like the mushroom holder bro <laughs> yeah morning joint no it's an afternoon joint I only smoke after 420 these days the lighter to your chain big time pot <laughs> good morning bro good morning to you as well this is the the live I needed wake and bake I'm happy friend thank you for joining me thank you for being here with me You look like a guy who has opened his third eye bef uh, before. Have you ever met the dimethyltryptamine aliens? Um, yeah, you can say that, dude. <laughs> I see a policeman behind you. Oh, no. It's not like I'm 40 kilometers. No, 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 no. Like 26 kilometers away from the closest police station or anything. Do check out Immortality Key by Brian. Hmm. You know how many book requests I have at the moment? 
probably 13 books I want to read. And I just recently started to take a much more direct approach to reading books. I'm actually going to now sit and write down the important parts that I, I feel as resonance to me with a, a certain book series I'm reading. Give myself a little bit more time to absorb that information. So it's probably going to be like a, a month or so before I read another book. Hmm. I'm hot for you to smoke this. Thank you, friend. Can I re relay a message I received yesterday? Absolutely. I don't think I'll be able to see it because I'll, I won't be able to scroll down that far. But you can definitely relay a message, friend. I hope someone else has seen it. Uh, good morning from the middle of Europe. Good morning to you as well, friend. <laughs> this guy would be the guides of guides. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Uh, I appreciate your belief in me. And I, I believe that if we can all live as guides to ourselves and to every single person that we meet and the, 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 like the lives that we want to live, that is exactly how we're going to become the guides of guides, right? Mm. We must protect you at all costs. <laughs> I'm safe, friend. Thank you. Thank you for worrying about me, but I am safe. I am safe. And I'm abundant and I'm prosperous because I believe these things to be true. <sighs> yes. Wasn't this dude dancing in the rain last time? Great vibes. I was dancing in the rain last time, but it's not raining at the moment. It's actually a very beautiful day. It's nice and cloudy, but it's like nice clouds. Like there's no shapely ones, beautiful clouds. So I'm very happy. Mm, this is a whole vibe. Yes, it is, friend. We're creating a vibration together by sharing parts of our consciousness with each other, making space in our consciousness for each other. Love your vibe, making reading EKGs bearable. I'm happy to hear that, friend. I'm very, very happy to hear that. Light that joint already? Fine. I'll light it one more, <laughs> probably one more time, because we have like four minutes left. How much do you pay for your green green? Fortunately, I don't have to pay for it. I have grown this myself. It's legal for us to grow in South Africa for personal use. So I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. Hmm. Fibonacci, Fibonacci, Fibonacci. Thoughts of wisdom, works of talk. <laughs> Smoke already. Yeah, I've been smoking, friend, don't worry. Love your style, bro. You look majestic. Thank you, friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Risk of rain, two slaps. It is a pretty cool game. Believe it or not, people who smoke weed are actually less likely to be addicts and can be successful to, to keep up being condescending from your second floor office. Don't worry, friend. Like, don't worry at all. Uh, like, you're just making space for them in your field of consciousness, right? So realize that some people's comments you don't have to take into your field of consciousness and that you have the choice to see them as for what they are, another expression of consciousness. Because for all of the good there is, there is still bad, unfortunately. And that bad is going to arise in our fields of consciousness and we can choose to attach ourselves and to be fearful and to be scared that we are a part of this thing or uh, associating ourselves with this bad thing. Or we can choose to look at all of the beauty and all of the love that we are receiving and be happy about that. How are you so nice? Oh my goodness. I'm as nice as the people that I've met in my life and the experiences that I've learned from in my life has allowed me to be. Uh, why a hippie with a phone inside a forest? <laughs> Yeah, let's say that this is this is a complete jungle. Like this, like <laughs> I can't even. No, I'm not in the forest. Oh, am I? Maybe a little bit. Isn't the forest like very densely treed? 
I'm more on like the planes at the moment. Would love to know your opinion on Smoking J and the Kings. I'm not exactly sure what you mean, friend. Divine individualized expression of God. Yes, exactly. Divine individualized expressions of God. <sighs> divine individualized expressions of God. We are all divine individualized expressions of God. And I want you to know that and I want you to believe that and for you to keep it true. I would like to encourage any of you that are watching before I end the stream to, to sub to the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be posting every single day for the whole year. So if you don't catch these streams live, they'll be in 1080p, 60 FPS, like horizontal perspective available forever. And I look forward to being able to look back on them. And I look forward to seeing all of you uh, subscribe if you want to. Like every single one of you matters, really. Like it makes the world of a difference.